Hello, beloved community. Today, I'm going to talk to you about All Saints Day and how the Mercy community remembers its saints. Come, Holy Spirit, renew the face of the earth. Set your people free. Come, Holy Spirit, renew your image and arms. Heal our humanity. Blessed Sunday, community. It's good to be with you. All Saints Day is technically November 1st, which is Monday, but we decided to take the opportunity to celebrate it together in a Sunday service. All Saints Day um, has for a while been an important part of the Mercy community because we are really practiced and I would say really good at remembering our saints. Well, what do I mean by a saint? Let me tell you. Um, so many of you may have heard about this day before, All Saints Day. Um, and I like um, the way that Thomas Merton describes what it is to be a saint. A saint is when you are being your fullest self, when you are being your most self, because you, beloved, are created in the image of God. Sometimes we have... Um, you know, there are more traditional views of what a saint is. You know, we have, you know, many stories of Catholic saints who have performed miracles and done astonishing things. And yes, absolutely, they are saints. But so are you. And so is everyone in our community. And I feel like um, Mercy has always done a really good job of remembering this as true. One of my first memories of walking into Mercy was noticing, um, if you only know this iteration of Mercy, we meet exclusively outdoors now, but we used to um, meet in this cozy little colorful um, basement space. And I remember walking in for the first time and noticing that um, these prayer flags hung above our worship space, right in front of the kitchen where we would be making soup and coffee um, and then worshiping together. And these prayer flags hung overhead. And they started out that we would make prayer flags for our community members who had passed on. Because like most com church communities, we do life together. And so we celebrate births and weddings and baptisms and, and life. And part of life is death. Um, we all experience physical death. Um, and so when as a community you do life together, you lose people. You lose people that you really love. Um, one of the hardships of living on the streets is that, you know, many of us do not have access to the health care that we need. Um, and sometimes it seems that we lose our loved ones frequently. And so it's important, it's always important that we value those lives. We value those lives as meaningful and beautiful. We've, we value that those lives mattered. And we remember and appreciate our living saints and also our saints who have gone before us to be with the Lord. And I just remember, um, I remember our old mercy space and those prayer flags. And eventually um, we started making prayer flags for our living saints as well. So, you know, the whole room was just covered in the faces of our beloved community members. And it felt like a physical, tangible way of describing what it means to be surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. <laughs> because that's what being in the Christian community is. We are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses, many of whom have gone before us. And the beautiful thing about being a Christian community and finding hope in the resurrection is we know that Jesus Christ has conquered death. And we know that our loved ones live on and on and on. That doesn't always make it any easier. Um, 
to lose people that we have built community with, that we have relationships with, that we have bonds with, that we work with and do life with and love. And we have lost a lot of people in these last couple of years. But that's why it's so important that we remember them, that we remember the beautiful, beloved child of God that they were, the image of God that they were, and that we know that they're still with us. And that's what it means to be community, um, to walk with one another in life and in death. It's where Jesus walks with us too, in life and in death. So All Saints Day, um, it can be a hard day, um, but it can also be um, a way that we grieve together. And grieving together is important. So it's something that our community, I believe, has always done really well. Um, you know, I've often thought that, you know, in many ways I love a funeral because a funeral is a tangible way that um, that we value the importance and meaningfulness of a human life. And I particularly love at um, our mercy funerals, our mercy um, celebrations of life and remembrance memorials. We um, just do a lot of storytelling and sharing and um, you know, some stories are funny, some stories are hard, some stories are complex. That's how human life is, human relationships. So today, um, I hope you are able to take a moment to remember the cloud of witnesses that surrounds us to grieve when you need to grieve, to find hope where you need to find hope, to find joy and maybe laugh a little in remembering the people that you love. And most importantly, to know that you are not alone. You are surrounded by a community who loves you. You are held by a God who made you and loves you and you are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses.